Imagine a worldwide pandemic happens and your training sessions, your coaching course or your lectures have to go virtual. So you get a Zoom account, awesome. But after you set up your Zoom account, you might be wondering how you can deliver your content through the little webcam on your laptop. So if you wanna learn how to go from this to this, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need and how to do it, and we're gonna get it started right now. Okay, so let's have a look at the equipment we need to make this all happen. Uh, links for all the products I'm going to suggest here are in the description below, so be sure to check those out after the video. All right, so the first thing we need, obviously, is a camera. Uh, I use a Canon, but honestly, any camera that's going to shoot 1080p is going to be great. It's going to give you the high definition. You can also use a GoPro, which also shoots in 1080p. So to connect the GoPro to your laptop, you're going to need a cable, uh, HDMI cable, but they're not the standard HDMI for the, my Canon camera. I need a, an HDMI to a HDMI MIDI, just like that. And if you are using the GoPro, then you're gonna need an HDMI to an HDMI micro, it's a lot smaller there. And the last thing you need is, and probably the most important thing, is this cam link here. And what the cam link will do is change the HDMI signal into USB so that your PC or laptop can then use it as a webcam. Uh, now this cam link here is, I mean, there are a number of different solutions out there that do the same job, but I found this to be the most cost effective. Again, check out in the uh, description below the link to uh, have a look at this online. So just before we look at the Zoom settings that are needed to run a setup like this, I think it's fair to say that even beyond this pandemic and when we can all get back to our normal living, if you're somebody that wants to expand your reach uh, through your tuition, perhaps you're a you know, yoga instructor, a, a gym instructor, a personal trainer, uh, a lecturer, if you want to go beyond your local um, community and deliver more training via the Zoom platform, then this type of setup is going to be a great way to keep your audience engaged. There are a couple of other things that you might want to consider as well, which is the audio. If you want to have like a two-way um, kind of presentation, take questions as you're presenting, then I recommend using a set of uh, wireless uh, headphones connected to your phone so that you can listen and take questions as you're presenting. If, however, you want to deliver more of a one-way uh, content, then perhaps you might want to consider uh, using a lapel mic, as I'm using right now, and connect it to your camera. But of course, your camera needs to be able to take an external microphone in. Again, things to consider there. So I deliver my photography classes actually with a set of wireless head headphones so that I can move around the studio and take questions as I'm sort of demonstrating various techniques through photography. So really, the, the key is you know, great audio and great video. Now we're gonna jump into Zoom and have a look at the settings we need to make there in order to make this all happen. So here we are in Zoom and this is the last step of the process. So just to recap, I've got the camera mounted on my tripod, uh, which is connected by the HDMI into the cam link, which has been inserted into the USB port. I've opened up Zoom and the first thing we're gonna do is change the video setting. So if I click on, if you follow my cursor along and if I click on this little arrow here, you can see now that the cam link 4K is shown as the option. So if I click onto that, you can see now it um, shoots straight into the cam link instead of the standard webcam. So what a huge difference that is. Um, I would just say that, however, the, the cam link, uh, I mean, is the most affordable solution out there on the, on the market. I have had a few little um, sort of minor issues with it. Uh, the first time I tried it, I was actually blue. You can see a photograph of me here as uh, like a Papa Smurf. But um, I, I simply just took out the cam link, changed the USB port, uh, and it seemed to write itself. So I'd say it's not perfect, but you just have to kind of play around, perhaps just changing the USB uh, stick, put it into the different port and you should be good. Um, then we're gonna jump into the audio settings. So depending on which audio you're choosing, so I have my uh, DSLR camera set up with um, some lapel mics at the moment. So if I wanna uh, use that as the audio, then what I need to do is select this option here, the digital audio link the cam link. So then I'm going to get both the audio and video going straight through the camera and into the lapel mic. If however you want to move around, you want to have a two-way conversation, take feedback, take questions from your attendees, then you need to probably switch to the phone option and use a wireless headset and connect that via Bluetooth into your phone. If you do that, you just literally switch to phone audio there, dial into the meeting, and then you've got the video coming through your DSLR or your GoPro and then you can actually have a two-way conversation with your wireless headset with the phone and then you can move around, do your demonstration, do your personal training, whatever it is you're doing via the Zoom platform. So that's the end of this uh, tutorial. I hope you find it useful. If you have, uh, please remember to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. It's always appreciated. Remember the links in the uh, description below will take you to some of the products I've talked about today. Be sure to check those out and uh, I'll see you again soon. Take care, cheers.